All right, so hello. Uh, so today we're going to talk about this thing over my shoulder here, these DOPs, D-O-Ps. Those are direct object pronouns. Um, in order to do that, though, we've got to first understand what a direct object is. Uh, and very simply put, it is the thing that receives the action from the verb. So like any verb, like for instance, the verb to chew, right? I, I chew gum, right? So I is the subject, verb, I cause this action, this action of chewing, well, what receives that action? What's getting chewed, right? And that would be the gum. So here in this circumstance, the direct object is the gum, right? For instance, another verb like to love, like we know I love puppies, right? So I as a subject, I love, I love puppies, that makes the subject, I, the verb of loving, who or what's getting loved, the puppies are getting loved, I love the puppies, the puppies are the direct object. Um, same token, I hate cats, right? So the verb hate, okay, who or what's getting hated, the cats are, right? And right now you're going, well, that's not fair, you shouldn't hate all the cats, right? Okay, all right, I just hate Bertha's cat, right? And at this point, I as the subject, I'm hating, what do I hate? I hate Bertha's cat. That makes Bertha's cat the direct object. Right, so in short, finding the direct object, it's the thing that's getting verbed. The subject verbs the direct object. And so whatever, whatever the action of the verb is going towards, whoever, whoever or whatever is getting verbed is the direct object, okay? Now, that's easy enough, but then why do we need these dops? Why do we need a direct object pronoun, right? Maybe I get tired of saying the direct object. For instance, here we go, I'm eating. I'm eating the pizza, right? I, as a subject, am eating. I'm eating the pizza. That makes the pizza the direct object. But I'm tired now of saying the pizza, the pizza, the pizza, right? Which means that I want to replace the pizza with its direct object pronoun, okay? And of course, you know, you can just replace it with it, right? I'm eating it, meaning the pizza. And so that's the direct object pronoun. A pronoun, by its very nature, just replaces a noun. And a direct object pronoun replaces a noun that's serving in the role of direct object. It's a lot of grammar speak, so we'll break it down a little bit. And let's move over into Spanish a little bit, where we know, right, if I want to talk about it or them, it or them, I got my four possibilities, right? And you all know that lo, la, all that gets me an it, and I need those whether I'm dealing with masculine or feminine, right? Lo, if it's masculine, singular, an it. La, if it's feminine, singular, for an it there. Los and las, you know that that's them, right? Los for something that's masculine or masculine and feminine mixed up together, or and last just for something that's feminine, right? Now, is it possible for a person to be a direct object? Absolutely, right? Right now, you're watching, you're watching me, right? That means that I, right now, for you, I'm the direct object, right? So in Spanish, if I am the direct object, we got to go with a me, right? Easy enough, okay? What if you, singular person, informal, what if you were the direct object? We got to pay, okay? Now, what about he or she, right? Well, you're probably guessing that maybe it's the same as an it, right? Where you've got a lo and a la again, right? Well, what if we are the direct object? Nos, easy enough, right? And what about they? What if they are the direct object? Now, you're already thinking about this, them, right? We just got to worry about the masculine or feminine. Is it going to be a los or a las? So, let's try a couple of these, right? For instance, with yo compro el suéter, right? Nice sweater, right? So, el com yo compro el suéter, right? That means that... What, who or what's getting bought, right? I'm not getting bought. The sweater's getting bought, right? Which means I get to replace el suéter with the appropriate direct object pronoun. We got to worry about, am I going to go with an it, with me? What's it going to be here? That's an it, right? But what, what it? What it? Masculine or feminine? Hmm? Hmm? Right? Masculine, singular, plural. Right? You got your singular, which means I'm going to have to decide between low or la, and you're absolutely right. We're going to go with a, la, with a low, right? The question is, where do I put it? Right? Yo lo compro. Right? We did have yo compro el suéter, and now I've got yo lo compro. Right? Well, Mr. Jires, that's a little bit weird, right? Because yo lo compro, you're saying to me, I, it, am buying. That's, that sounds weird. That's not what it's like in English. And you know that Spanish and English are not the same thing, right? Spanish is in English translated into Spanish. It's its own language. It gets to do its own thing, right? So the thing that we're going to learn here and the thing we've got to keep track of is the direct object pronoun goes before the conjugated verb, before CV, before the conjugated verb is where you're always going to put your direct object pronoun, right? And ellas conocen a mí, right? Let's do another one here. A mí, well, 
Now I'm the direct object, right? They know me, so it's going to become ellas me conocen. Right? Again, you'll notice the direct object pronoun, it's right before the conjugated verb, okay? Before the conjugated verb. Now, yo, my watch is beeping, right? Okay? Here I've got yo quiero los zapatos, right? And so there I've got my direct object. It's that thing that I'm wanting, right? It's the thing that's getting that action of wanting los zapatos, right? What's it going to be? Masculine, feminine, singular, plural. Do I need an it, a them? What are we going to do? And you come up with yo los quiero. Right? And so, bringing all of this home, we know we can find the direct object because it's the thing that the subject is verbing. Right? It's what's receiving that action. Once we find it, well, what are the pronouns that let me replace it? Right? Am I the direct object? Are you, he, she, it, we, y'all, they, them? Okay? So those are all of our pronouns. Got them over my shoulders here too. Mete, lo, la, nos, los, las. Right? Where does it go? goes before CV, before the conjugated verb. Right? If you have any more questions, go to your textbook, page 174, right? and you can always come see me early morning, 720, in my classroom. Muchas gracias.